It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, the Beer Monster Reviews. Got a can of Red Stripe here to review. It's a pint can, this one. They've been making this stuff since 1928. It used to always be brewed in uh, Jamaica, but it's been taken over by uh, Heineken. So they also brew it in the Netherlands. But, uh, Heineken also brew it in the Netherlands. Uh, I think this can's probably the one from the Netherlands. Um, you know, uh, as it's not imported or nothing and no, it's 4.7% ABV. Uh, I picked this up for £6.79, but it was a four pack. They didn't do individual cans. It's just that me local uh, off license. Um, so yeah, uh, I have tried this before. Uh, I think it's been a few years since I tried it. Uh, can't remember much about it. It's way before I used to review beers and that. So I've never really thought about the taste or anything like that. So I thought I'd give it a review. And uh I think it's the first Jamaican beer I've reviewed as well. And uh, I don't really know of any other Jamaican beers, so it might be the only one I ever review. Anyway, let's crack it open. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a lively one. A little bit of a squirter. You can see it's uh, foaming, out of the, uh, foaming out of the rim a bit there, so I'm gonna get it in the glass and smell it. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna snort all that foam straight up my nose. Anyway, let's get in there for the uh, pour. Yeah, uh, it's like rave juice, this, isn't it? It's very popular at like, the raves and festivals and, and stuff like that. Um, it's got a bit of a sort of a legendary reputation about it, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's something I've only ever tried a few times and I really can't remember anything about. There you go, it's in the glass. I would say it's kind of medium carbonated for a lager. Uh, medium paste to the bubbles sort of medium size to the bubbles it's got a nice white head uh slightly foamy don't look too bad let's, let's get a nose see what sort of room we get from it not much aroma it's kind of a grassy hoppy very slight grassy hoppiness from there a little bit like corny yeah it's not like a slight, slight sweet smell in there as well. It smells all right. It smells like, you know, running, you're running a meal lager, really. Cheers, guys. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? First impressions. It's all right smooth very drinkable uh a little bit uh the carbonation's quite flat for a lager i'd say um certainly not very well carbonated like most lagers are you know, but it's quite crisp and refreshing it's something a bit naughty in here though i can tell got quite a thin body it's quite smashable though it does taste like it's saying a bit naughty in it though. It's very sweet. It's a very sweet lager. It's quite a corny lager. <coughs> it's a very grainy. There's something about that sweetness. It tastes a bit naughty. I'm looking at the ingredients. Water, uh, malted barley, glucose syrup. There you go. That's the, that's the naughty one. It's got glucose syrup in it. Uh, and hop extract so it's not even properly hopped it's just got hop extract in it and glucose syrup uh, that's what they're having to do to try and give this beer a bit more flavor so it's not sort of done the natural way uh, but it is quite nice but it, you know it, they've cheated a bit uh, not too fan of having syrup in, or too much of a fan of having syrup in my beer either uh, it's a little bit naughty but at least they uh, mention it on the can uh, sometimes they 
don't bother, do you know what I mean? Uh, but it tastes all right, it's, it's not bad. Mm. It's not the only lager that does that, there's plenty of lagers that do it. But at least with this one, although it has got the syrup in it, it's not like a really sticky, sickly, horrible sort of um, syrup, syrup that sort of uh, gets a bit much after a while. Uh, a lot of the ones with syrup, uh, syrup, a glucose syrup added in them, um, they get overly sweet. This is really sweet, but it's just not sickly sweet, if you know what I mean? So I'll give it that. I mean, I've clearly cut some corners with this beer with uh, hop extract and stuff like that and the, the syrup but it actually tastes all right my biggest sort of uh, gro uh, problem with this is there's literally no bitterness nothing on the end some people might like that i'm just getting like a syrupiness on the end Saying that, it, it, it tastes all right. It's certainly not my favourite lager, but I've tried plenty of worse lagers. 4.7% ABV. I suppose it probably tastes about 4.5 for me. So it's pretty much on with that. Let's go again. There's some citrus in here, which I think, which is kind of rescuing this beer a bit. It doesn't have no uh, bitterness at all for me uh, on the back end or anything, but there is like quite a nice citrusy taste. Tastes like a mixture of lemon and lime to me. And I think that's sort of saving this. Otherwise, I think it would be quite a bad beer. Yeah, I mean, the old rave juice ain't too bad. Also, some people don't like bitter beers, so, you know, maybe that's the reason why this is popular at your festivals and stuff. Because, okay, some people may like bitter, but some people don't. But at least with this, it's kind of, nobody's going to be too upset, are they? I mean, I prefer a bit of bitterness, but um, if it ain't there, it's not like I ain't going to drink it, do you know what I mean? Where some people, if it's bitter, they, they won't even be able to drink it, sort of thing, you know, so that's quite safe in that sense. It's quite a safe beer, a barbecue beer or whatever. Um, I think there'll be people that ain't that much of a fan of it, but I don't think there'll be no one that was like a, a lager drinker. I don't think there'll be any lager drinkers that are like, nah, I ain't drinking that shit. You know what I mean? It, that's how I'd sort of describe it. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. A final score out of 10 goes. I think this has got kind of a average written all over it, really. Uh, it tastes all right, though it does taste all right. Uh, it's a shame about a few naughty ingredients in there. And like uh, shortcuts taken and that. Uh, save money or what, or what have you. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it matters what it tastes like. It, it tastes quite nice. It tastes better than a lot of other lagers, but it's not the it's not up there in the top tier or nothing like that. Uh, I'd say it's, it's above the mid tier though for me. I'll give it a seven point four. Seven point four out of ten for me. It's not bad. It's it's decent. It's drinkable. You know, not going to complain. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one, yeah? Bye-bye, darlings.